J. Willard Bill Marriott was a visionary. He saw a need, usually before anyone else knew there was one. His entrepreneurial spirit, coupled with his hard work, helped him turn his root beer stand into an international hotel chain. Bill Marriott grew up in Utah as one of eight kids on a sugar beet and sheep farm. The boy knew hard work from the start. So did his future wife, Alice, Allie Sheets. Her father died in the flu pandemic of 1919 when she was only 12. In order to help out her mother, she took on domestic work. The two met in college at the University of Utah and enjoyed dates at the local A&W drive-in. A&W was offering franchising opportunities, so Bill decided to try his hand at selling root beer. He settled on Washington, D.C., because he figured it would sell well in the summer heat. Together with a college friend, they secured franchising, supplies, and a storefront to set up shop. The grand opening was a success. They were packed the entire day. <laughs> the 1,000 free coupons that Bill passed out certainly helped. Customers enjoyed their tasty chilled drinks and got updates on another big event that day on the radio. Charles Lindbergh's historic transatlantic flight. Allie joined Bill after they married, and soon they opened a second location. Bill and Allie learned as they went how to manage a store, how to order supplies, how to keep the books. They also knew that the winter would hurt their business. How many people would want to buy an ice-cold root beer in freezing temperatures? The answer, they decided, was to add some hot food to their offerings. Bill wanted his choices to be different. He enjoyed the spicy foods from back west. Armed with Alice's Spanish degree, they worked to create some spicier offerings, hot tamales and chili. Bill worked to reconfigure his stands to accommodate food, and Allie worked to perfect the recipes. They also added hot dogs and barbecue sandwiches. They renamed their stand Hot Shop because they sold hot food. The extra P and the E at the end were for flair, of course. Their second location even had a revolving spit in the window with a man carving meat to entice customers. After the first year, Bill's partner sold him his half. Bill set his sights on a third location, and he wanted to make it a drive through Hot Shop number 3 opened in July of 1928 with an expanded menu. They hired running boys who would deliver the food to customers in their cars. A sketch of the running boy holding a tray became the iconic Hot Shop logo. The Marriott's believed in five tenets that guided their business practices. Cleanliness, quality food, efficient service, moderate prices, and friendliness. To them, these alone were priceless advertising. After the stock market crashed in 1929, the future for hot shops looked grim. However, the Marriott's continued to be creative and visionary. They kept their shops open 24 hours a day and looked to expand to more locations. They wanted to be in high traffic areas, so they counted cars at various intersections at different times of the day. Which side of the street saw the most traffic? What time of day was the busiest? The research resulted in two new shops. While many businesses faltered and failed during the Great Depression, Hot shops actually grew. They offered good food at reasonable prices. In 1937, Hot Shops introduced their children's menu, along with the new advertising slogan, Food for the Whole Family. Expansion continued for Hot Shops, expanding beyond D.C. and into the suburbs. 
a shot by the Hoover Airport provided a dining option for families who drove out to watch the planes, along with those who flew. This spawned a new idea, food on the airplane. Eventually, he began a catering business to both Eastern and American Airlines. By 1940, there were 18 hot shops in the East. World War II, though, brought new challenges. There were fewer employees, customers, and rationed food and gasoline. The Marriott's pivoted to more cafeteria-style restaurants. After the war, hot shops got back into the expansion business. They opened up pantry houses that sold ice cream and baked goods. They pitched the pantry houses as take-home food for the family. The 1950s saw more growth and more national recognition. Hot shops were popping up all over. The iconic Mighty Mo Burger, Teen Twist Sandwich, and the Orange Freeze were introduced. The company went public in 1953. At that time, there were 45 stores with over 3,000 employees. Bill Marriott always paid close attention to what was happening around him. He seemed to always predict the next wave of success. After the Pentagon was built, the Marriotts decided to get into the hotel business. The Twin Bridges Marriott Motor Hotel opened in 1957 as the largest motor hotel in the world. Another opened up in Arlington, Virginia only two years later. At its peak in 1964, there were more than 70 hot shops, restaurants, cafeterias, and turnpike stops. There were five hotels. The company changed its name to Marriott Hot Shops in recognition of the budding hotel business. Within just a handful of years, the company dropped hot shops from their title and became the Marriott Corporation. In the years to come, the hotel business would outshine the restaurant one, even as Marriott acquired Bob's Big Boy and partnered with Roy Rogers. Eventually, hot shops began to close, with the last one closing in 1999. There are fond memories of those who were lucky enough to patronize a hot shop. Bill Marriott turned a five-cent mug of root beer into a successful worldwide hotel chain. It took a lot of hard work and a lot of vision. Thanks for watching Memory Mountain. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story looking back over the landscape of Americana.